Nowadays, batteries power pretty much everything, your phone, your tools, and now on some of the hottest or coldest days of our year, your home. Jason Allen with your look inside the largest battery power storage facility in Texas and the connection to the power grid. It's right near Granbury. Inside large metal compartments, individual battery modules are now plugged in and charging up. This site near Granbury is now home to thousands of the modules, housed in 88 compartments, all connected to the Texas power grid. Together, it's a big enough battery to power 130,000 homes for up to an hour. Consumers need real solutions that are available today, not just in the future, and I think that's what we're demonstrating with this site. Vistra cut the ribbon Monday on its DeCordova Energy Storage Facility, the largest in the state. Battery storage facilities can turn on instantly in times of high demand or take energy off the power grid to balance things out. They can charge up overnight using wind energy and turn on during those times when solar and wind aren't doing much for the grid. And sometimes that's as the, those, as the sun starts to set and we get home from work and we're turning on the oven and turning on TVs. Vistra believes this may also be the first hybrid power generating facility in the nation, with battery power coming from this new array connected to four traditional natural gas generators, which are next to now two giant storage tanks that hold fuel in case natural gas is unavailable. We are going to need more generation from all sources. So having a battery next to a quick start com uh, combustion cycle next to fuel storage is one of those solutions that I think is going to help us as we grow into uh, being able to meet our energy needs. Because battery power doesn't last long, for now, ERCOT didn't include the facilities in its forecast for power supply that's available to Texans this summer. But earlier this month, during days of unexpected tight power supply, Fister went ahead and flipped the switch, helping to keep the grid powered up. Near Granbury, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. First